Protestantism is a movement in Christianity which originated in the beginning of the 16th century, when a German Catholic monk, Martin Luther, protested against the Catholic Church. At the same time as Luther, several other people in various European countries had opposed the Roman Catholic Church. Today, Protestantism is represented by a multitude of Christian denominations that differ in their faith, morals and rights. Just like the Orthodox Church, most of those denominations profess faith in one God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ is viewed by them as God incarnate. At the same time, there are significant differences between Protestantism and Orthodoxy. 1. In Protestantism, there is a teaching of the invisible Church, which is made up of all believers in Christ. Despite the absence of evident unity between Christians, their concealed unity is professed, which assumes that they comprise one Church. According to Protestant theologians, all current Christian denominations are branches of the same tree. Orthodoxy has always rejected the branch theory. By professing one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church in the Creed, Orthodox Christians believe that it refers specifically to the Orthodox Church, rather than to all Christian denominations put together. 2. Protestantism upholds the principle of sola scriptura, that literally translates from Latin as by scripture alone. According to this principle, the ultimate authority in the Church belongs solely to the Holy Scripture. Protestants do not recognize as regulatory any decrees of the ecumenical councils or any writings of the Church Fathers. The idea of the holy tradition is rejected by Protestants. The tradition itself is often identified with false teachings of some individuals that distort the Scripture's meaning. 3. The interpretations of the Bible by Protestants and the Orthodox derive from different starting points. From a Protestant's point of view, any believer is able to interpret the Scripture. However, interpretations by Luther and other Reformers are regarded as normative. In the Orthodox tradition, the Bible is interpreted in light of the 2,000-year-old tradition of the Church, which is the pillar and the foundation of the truth. Therefore, only that interpretation of the Bible is legitimate, which is consistent with the teaching of the Church. 4. The Protestant Bible differs from the Orthodox Bible in its content. It is missing 11 Old Testament books that are not part of the Jewish canon. The New Testament in the Protestant Bible is identical in its content to the New Testament in the Orthodox Bible. 5. Unlike Orthodoxy, Protestantism does not have a teaching of the seven sacraments. Most Protestant movements recognize only baptism and the Eucharist, not as sacraments, but as symbolic acts. 6. Protestantism does not recognize the Eucharistic reality of the change of bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. The Orthodox believe that in the Eucharist the bread and wine are transformed into the real body and real blood of the Savior. By partaking of the Holy Mysteries, the Orthodox believer is united with Christ spiritually and bodily, and not just in some symbolic sense. 7. Protestantism has revived the ancient iconoclastic heresy condemned by the Seventh Ecumenical Council. Many Protestant churches have no sacred images at all. Some allow Christian symbols or paintings of religious themes, but they are not venerated. Many Protestants consider the veneration of icons idolatrous. Orthodoxy, on the other hand, proclaims that the honor paid to the image passes on to the prototype, that is, the one who is depicted in that image. And it is not the icon with all its colors that we venerate, but rather the person who is depicted in it. This has nothing to do with idolatry. 
Eight. Unlike Orthodoxy, in Protestantism there is no practice of praying to the Mother of God and to the saints, as it is considered that it is necessary to pray only to God, and no intermediaries are needed. In the Orthodox Church, the Theotokos and the saints are not just intermediaries between mankind and God, they are our heavenly friends, helpers on our way to God. 9. In Protestantism there is no veneration of the relics of the saints. The Orthodox Church believes that the grace of the Holy Spirit rests on the relics of the deceased righteous, and thus they can be a source of healing. 10. Protestants do not pray for the dead, believing that God decides upon their destiny immediately after their death. Orthodox Christians believe that posthumous fate of the deceased can be changed through the prayer of the living. In addition, prayer for the deceased allows the living to keep in touch with them, remembering that God is not a God of the dead, but of the living, for all live unto him. 11. Protestants believe that justification and salvation are acquired through faith, not through the good works. This concept is based on the Lutheran understanding of the words of the Apostle Paul. A person is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. However, the Apostle Paul was not referring to good works in general, but to the Old Testament regulations that were abolished by Christ. Regarding good works, St. Apostle James wrote in his letter that faith without works is dead. From the Protestant standpoint, the confession of faith in Jesus Christ is the guarantee of salvation. Orthodoxy, on the other hand, emphasizes the importance of keeping the commandments of Christ, partaking in the Church life and the sacraments. 12. Many Protestant denominations do not recognize the teaching of the apostolic succession of the hierarchy. The concept of church hierarchy itself is also often absent. The female priesthood has become widespread in recent decades. In some communities, a woman may even become a bishop. Orthodoxy recognizes neither the possibility for a woman to become a priest or a bishop, nor the holy orders in Protestantism in principle. If a Catholic bishop or a priest converts to Orthodoxy, he will be received in the rank he had in his community. But a Protestant bishop or a pastor can only be received as a layman. 13. There is no monasticism in Protestantism. In Orthodoxy, however, monasticism is an integral part of the church body. 14. There can be very significant differences between Protestants and the Orthodox in the field of morality. There are Protestant congregations that uphold conservative moral positions, close to Orthodoxy. But there are also those that have embarked on the path of liberalizing moral standards. Some Protestant communities justify homosexuality and even administer the right of blessing on same-sex couples. The Orthodox Church finds it unacceptable to revise moral norms in the name of modern standards of political correctness or for any other reasons. <laughs>